Okay, let's talk about queries. Queries are very complex objects on Dune with a lot of flexibility, uh, but it starts out fairly simple. So as always, I'll start us off in our docs so you understand where to find more details. So all I'm gonna cover in this video is the basics of the query editor in terms of writing and executing queries and seeing the results. Uh, there's some shortcuts mentioned here as well. I'm going to talk about parameters uh, that you can use within your queries and some of the gotchas around that. And I'll also talk about uh, query views and materialized views as ways that you can extend the usage of your queries. Let's get into it. Uh, probably the most common feature of working with queries on Dune is you go to someone else's query and you just click fork and you get to just work with their query and visualizations uh, right away. So that's usually the quickest way to get started. And you can just save it as your own query. So you can easily create a query just by going up here and clicking new query and it'll take you to the editor. Uh, but we're gonna start with an existing query I've already written. All right, so if I'm in my library and I just click on any of these queries, I'm taken to the query editor. Um, and the query editor is mainly composed of three parts. You have your SQL query text, uh, as, long, as, long, as well as the run button. Uh, you have your query results and your visualizations, which will show up over here. Um, and you also have your data explorer or table explorer, uh, which is how you find your tables to query. All right, so let's go into each section a bit further. Uh, for the SQL text here, um, this is just Trino SQL. We call it Dune SQL. Um, you can learn more about that in our document. And anytime you finish running writing SQL, uh, you can go and run it on three different engines, uh, either our free engine, uh, our medium engine, or our large engine, right? Uh, the free engine, you can only run up to two minutes. Uh, the medium and large runs up to 30 minutes uh, before it times out. Right? You can see that uh, I'm technically on my free plan right now, so I don't have access to the large engine if I switch to my Dune team, I can now run out the large engine. Um, you can also easily see, once you've run your query, certain query statistics, such as the execution ID, which is useful for submitting into tickets to Dune team for debugging, uh, how long it took to execute, um, and also for the more advanced users, uh, how much data was processed in memory, uh, how big the output is uh, of your query. So. Once you have your query results, you'll get them in these tables. Uh, you can paginate through these tables. Um, you can search uh, basic text search on these tables across all of these columns. Um, there's a few other query editor concepts you're going to want to be familiar with. Uh, one is you can schedule your queries. Uh, so I can schedule a query to run every day or even up to every 15 minutes. Uh, I can choose a specific engine tier to schedule it on. Um, there's also a few other options over here. Uh, most importantly is gonna be you're adding a parameter, right? So let's say I wanted to know just the balance of a specific address. I might do where um, the address of Bitcoin here uh, is equal to this snippet, right? You'll see as soon as I added these double brackets, um, it added a parameter here, and I can change the type of parameter to be a number or a date or a list. Um, a few gotchas for you to be familiar with here. For text parameters, you're going to want to add uh, quotes around the parameter so that it registers as a var car. Um, if you're filtering on Ethereum addresses, you actually don't want quotes. I know this is not intuitive, but if you place text without quotes, um, then we'll automatically kind of convert it to, to binary or hex. Um, again, that's only that's useful for you to know only for when filtering on like addresses or transaction hashes on Ethereum data. Um, other gotchas, if I'm filtering on a date, for example, like let's say I filter this, um, I actually want to add a timestamp text in front of it. Otherwise, it's not going to know what, like it's going to think it's a string. Right, so if, you can add, if you're doing a date, then you're going to want to add timestamp in front. 
Um, and the last gotcha for you to know for now are lists. So lists is kind of like you can choose one, two, or three, right? So I could do this and select a different list. Um, there's allowing of multi-selects. Um, you could uh, add your own, right? So if I do free form, I could add an option, call it four, right? So user adds the option. Uh, you can also get your list options from a query, right? So I have some other example queries where I let you select, uh, let's take this for example, I let you select a blockchain from a dropdown supported on Dune. And this is actually uh, using the chain column of another query. So in this case, I'm just manually managing a static list, but you could see this as like managing a dynamic set of like contract addresses or something inside of a parameter. All right. So those are the kind of parameters you're gonna have to get used to. You can add as many parameters as you want. Um, kind of all up to you. So there's a few other ways that you can extensively use queries. Uh, one is as a query view, right? So if I'm going to go, let's say I wanted to work with the results of this query, I could actually do this, select from, um, and this is going to essentially copy paste all of this into here, technically as a common table expression, a CTE. So if you're not working with the results, it's literally just reusing this query text. Um, just a quick note here in the documentation on query views, uh, you might be wondering how do you pass parameters in a query view? Uh, and there's a part on the, in the documentation here that teaches you how to pass uh, all kinds of different parameters uh, through the query view syntax, right? So it's essentially, you're still keeping the query and ID uh, but then you're specifying the exact uh, parameter and parameter values in the SQL text as well. All right. Now, if I wanted to save time, and let's say that like I know that, I'm just going to refresh this, um, I know that this query takes 19 minutes to run. I don't want to wait 19 minutes each time that I use it somewhere else. Um, in that case, I could materialize. Um, and in the case of a materialized view, uh, you're essentially saving the results uh, in a table uh, that's run on a schedule that you can then query. Uh, and it's important to note that these materialized results, that schedule runs separately from this schedule. Uh, and the results are also going to be different uh, in terms of like, these results here that are run for the map view are not going to be what you see in the those results are currently separate in the back end. I know it's confusing, but it's something for you to uh, understand. So those are going to be the basics of your query. The last thing for you to be familiar with is obviously the settings. So you can change the name up here. Um, you can add tags, uh, add a description, which will also be the description that shows up under the visualizations. Uh, you can change the owner if you want to move it from you to a team or another teammate. Uh, you can also make it private or unprivate, and you can archive or unarchive it, uh, which is basically deleting your query on Dune. So, happy querying!